really sorry that I had the sequin background up when I filmed the review because I did say in the tutorial part of this video that I'm not gonna have the sequin, sequin background up when I'm filming um, like reviews and obviously it's up and I'm really sorry about that. The reason for that being is that we are actually having some visitors coming over in quite a short amount of time and I didn't have time to clean up behind me, so I'm putting it up. But in the future, there's not going to be a sequin background in the back when I'm filming reviews. It's just for this video. Hello, babies, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, that's going to be a review and some swatches with the Deep Sea Luster Palette by Kaleidos Cosmetics. I did get this palette sent to me as PR by Kaleidos Cosmetics. This is the first time I've been sent any PR from them. They also sent me some lashes. I will chat a bit more about the lashes towards... A bit more into the review. They also sent me some brushes, but I've only been able to use two of them so far because I always kept forgetting. But I used two of them, and I think that these are a mix of synthetic and animal hair brushes. And I really like the quality of the two I've tried. I will say though that like this one doesn't look that good. The fan brush, it doesn't look that good. But this one, the big powder brush, this is most definitely synthetic because it's so soft. This is the D01. This one is amazing. I want to try this so bad. I'm really loving the shapes of their blender brushes. Like they're super, super pretty. So I will say that I've only used two of the brushes, but they were Good when I use them and I have felt them and how I feel about the brushes is that they might be worth the price especially love the shape of this one that I used today the D07 I think that shape is a shape that I will be using a lot but what I will be reviewing in this video is actually the palette I did get sent this as PR as I said I have not been sent anything as PR before by Kaleidos Cosmetics and um, they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try this palette and at first I was like hesitant because I saw some pictures and I wasn't really sure if this was something that I wanted to try but oh my god, am I happy that I said yes, because this palette is bomb.com. This is so good. This is such a good palette. Let me show you what it looks like. It's a very sturdy packaging. Let me show you what it looks like. Very sturdy packaging. It's kind of slim, but not super slim, but it is kind of slim. It has some glitter, and if I touch it, I don't know if anything comes off. Did anything come off? Yeah, maybe a bit. Maybe a bit, because you can't feel it, so if you really grind on it, I guess you can get something off. This, t I'm so bad, look, 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 ah, I'm trying to, ooh, I'm trying to use my monitor. This text here is um, holographic, and then when you open the palette, if I can open the palette, can I open, wait, wait, struggle bus, wait, struggle, eh. okay, okay. It has a big mirror, you can see that here, and then here are the colors that are offered. Uh, this palette, wait, wait, struggle bus, this palette is offering, I would say, what do I want to say? I want to say like four different formulas. They have a matte, a satin that works as a matte in the crease if you want to, or as more of a subtle sheen on the lid if you feel that's more your style. It also has a shimmer formula and a very glittery formula. I guess you can see that this one, and this one, and this one. Those three are very glittery formulas. I will say though that maybe like this one and the two up here, these three are more like a foil formula and this one in the middle here it's more like a shimmer but it's definitely a duochrome. I will show you some swatches in a bit. Let's wipe some of my pants because I feel like this palette offers a very wide range of different textures. Let me see if I can just get them on my fingers now while I explain this to you. All of these colors are absolutely stunning. Like no joke, absolutely stunning. Let me see if I get all of the um, formulas here. Maybe like this. I hope you can see something here. Woohoo! Come see, come see, come see. Okay, here we go. You can see this is the matte. This is the duochrome shimmer. It is a periwinkle purple. This is the glittery duochrome. It is like a... It's what I have on my lid. It's a very blue, purple, like glittery duochrome. And then it's the foil this gold foil formula that doesn't have any glitter particles and it's not a duochrome, but it's absolutely stunning. All four, all four, where am I gonna put this? All four of these formulas are bomb.com. And like none of these formulas is a dud. None of the shadows, oh, I'm wiping down my pants. None of the shadows in this palette is a dud. 
all of these shadows are absolutely stunning and I like it's always rare to find a palette that has this good quality uh, it is four mattes in this palette and I will say that this is the thing that made me a bit hesitant about this palette because it's three browns up here and then it's the orange down here uh, this vapor wave and the naughty call pun intended they are the satin formula that uh, you can work it in the crease if you want to I have the a uh, bit of the purple one under here it is more of a satin formula but it will work in the crease most definitely it will work in the crease especially if you were using a brush that is a bit more stiff um, and it's not too soft or flimsy it will most definitely work in the crease these are beautiful. I brought this palette to Rome when we went to Rome together with another palette. I did a beautiful look when I just used this C Nymph, which is a gold burgundy duochrome glittery formula. And I just put glitter glue all over my lid and my crease and I patted this over, had some mascara and that was it. That's all I did and I loved it. So let's just get into some swatches so you can see how amazing this swatch is before we continue to talk about this. So I hope now that you could really see how amazing this palette swatches and it is a beautiful palette. The glittery formula, the glittery duochrome formula, it I have used that with a glitter glue. It makes it amazing. It's what I have on my lid. It, it's, it's a fail-proof formula then. I you could probably use it with a finger as well. I don't think that you will have as much fun with that formula if you don't use either glitter glue or a spray or your finger and just your brush. I do think you will get some fallout then and I don't think that it will look as pretty on the lid. It is a bit of a flaky formula but the end result is absolutely stunning. Um, this shade in the middle here, Disco Calypso, it is more of a topper shade. It is a periwinkle, um, like a periwinkle lavender duochrome. It layers beautifully beautiful on the shadows but it's also really beautiful on its own so you don't have to use it as a top if you don't want to it's really pretty on the lid on its own as well it's not like a whiff of nothing but it is a beautiful layering shade I will say that both uh, cro Kraken? Kraken? Is it called Kraken in English? Because that's not what we say in Swedish. Uh, both Kraken and uh, Queen Kunsch? Is it that? Like vagina? Okay, I'm just going to call it Queen because I'm sorry, this is langu language barrier. Uh, Kraken and Queen, they are very similar. And I think that one of these shades should have either been a, a pinky or berry matte or a blue matte. That would have given even more variety to this palette. We'll say though, the matte formula is beautiful. Pigmented, smooth, blendable. So I'm not sad about the mattes that are in here. But they are a bit similar and one of them could have been changed for something else. I do realize though that my makeup taste is not the norm. So I bet that there are other people who will feel like these two colors are so different and both of them are needed. So I don't think that like me judging browns and <laughs> saying that one of them is unnecessary. I mean, I don't think that I'm the right person to judge a brown, but just according to my taste, one of these could have been another matte. Uh, I have heard from this brand that they are coming out with some new stuff in 2019. I hope it's an eyeshadow palette. I'm most definitely picking it up. I love this one. I really love this one. This is $42 and from what I've understood, this brand is a brand that is um, like is it I don't remember what country but an Asian country and an American country owns it like two owners from two different countries I will link the about page down below so you can read up they do say that they are a cruelty free brand and I do believe that none of the products uh, like the palette has been tested on animals but they do offer mink lashes and I personally uh, I'm not a, a cruelty free um, um, 
YouTuber. I try to choose cruelty free when I can and I'm very conscious about what brands are and what brands aren't but I haven't transitioned but I have said myself that I'm not going to be using or buying mink lashes just because I've heard that that is an especially cruel method of uh, getting lashes. Uh, I do know that getting like animal hairs from brushes I've heard listen, this is just based on what I've heard that you actually can comb and most of these are probably goat. You can comb a goat and get some hairs but with minks it's especially cruel so I'm trying to not uh, buy lashes from brands that offer mink lashes and I'm not using mink lashes but I will buy makeup from brands that offer mink lashes but I do think though that since the eyeshadow palette is so amazing the best thing that this brand could do is just drop the mink lashes because they are really onto something when it comes to this eyeshadow formula it's unique it's pretty and it's high quality and it's very like inspirational which is saying a lot coming from me because I, I don't always find all makeup being that inspirational I feel like I'm bringing the inspiration but with this palette I feel like this palette on its own inspired me and I have really been enjoying playing with this palette and I really do hope that they will drop the mink lashes because they don't need that they have something really good going on with this palette and i also feel like the brushes are really good uh, i don't know how people that use cruelty free feel about brushes that use animal hairs i know that some people don't and some people do that is totally up to you i have not read up about that more than i know that you can create brushes with animal hairs without actually being cruel to animals that's as far as I've read up about that. But yeah, I really like this palette. I really like this palette. And I'm so excited that I had the opportunity to try it. I think it is absolutely stunning. Just the variety and textures. I think this is what the beauty community needs. Not like... I mean, every color has been done. I think it's nowadays, it's more about what colors you put together in the palette and what kind of different textures you play with. Because this palette is bringing the most and i'm loving that i'm really loving that i did film this look with this palette one of the best looks i've ever done in my life i love this i feel so pretty i feel like a sea siren going to a disco where am i going with this i'm feeling very pretty i'm loving this look i also filmed another look i wanted to why am i changing i wanted to film three looks but i just did not have the time but there is a bunch of other looks that could come from this palette as well i actually really like both of these golds up here because they're so yellow and so different and i usually not a big fan of golds but i did film two looks and i'm probably i'm either gonna have that up tomorrow or i'll just put it up later today I honestly don't know, but it's going to be the next uh, video on my channel. So it's going to be this look and it's going to be uh, one more. But I think that was everything I wanted to talk about in this video. I don't know if there's any discount codes out. I'm not affiliated with this brand. This video is not sponsored and I did not have to do this video. I just wanted to do this video because I feel like I really discovered a gem here. And that was everything. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know down below how you feel about this brand. Have you heard about this brand before? Have you seen anyone else review this uh, palette? I don't think I've seen anyone review this palette and it's a shame because it's a beautiful palette but i will see you in my next video which is going to be this look and one more and yeah i think that was everything thank you for being here